Hi, I'm Curtis Parody, and welcome to The Simulation, your weekly show bringing you the top Sims news from the past week. Well, this week has been a really big one as The Sims 4 is only three days away. That's right, everyone. Three days from The Sims 4 launch. Of course, EA has been prepping all of us all week with a bunch of awesome live streams. Of course, we'll be taking a closer look at those a little later in the video. But first, take a look at this. What's up you guys, SimWolf here, here again, and we are here on The Sims 3, yes, The Sims 3, not to be confused with the widely popular game Sims 4, which is yet to be out yet, should be coming out in a matter of, uh, I believe, a couple weeks now, I want to say maybe three weeks now, two weeks, something like that, either way guys, we are back into The Sims 3, we are going to continue with the BB Bluff Apartments, uh, the dorm building. Of course, we all know I got my start in The Sims by building house videos and posting them online, so it's no surprise that when I found out Sim Wolf Heroes building videos, I was super happy and entertained by watching them. This fun guy creates buildings inside of The Sims 3, and I'm sure he'll be moving into The Sims 4 when it arrives in just a few days. Go and check out his channel on YouTube for more great Sims 3 house building videos. There is a link to that in the description down below. But now it's time for the news, and this week all of the buzz has been about the launch of The Sims 4. Of course, The Sims 4 is only three days away now and will be launching on Tuesday in North America. Now, EA has been hosting a bunch of different live streams all week, the first of which was a building live stream. Yes, this awesome live stream was hosted by Sim Guru Aaron and Sim Guru Ryan. They showed off a bunch of different pieces inside of the game, but they were having a bunch of fun just actually building a house inside of the game for the very first time. They showed off many of the new tools inside of the game, and they had a ton of fun with the brand new room tools. Showing off a bunch of interesting pieces like grabbing a room, moving it, stretching it, and reshaping it. Also showing off how a bunch of the different window tools work and a bunch of other parts of the build. For myself as a builder, this was probably one of the best live streams to watch because I've never actually played the game myself, so this gave me a really in-depth look at how the game will actually work. So if you're a big fan of building inside of the game, this is a live stream for you to check out. But if you're not a builder and maybe you want to be in live mode, a little bit more, check out day two Twitch stream. Yes, the second day, Sim Guru Ryan and Sim Guru Argus were actually inside of the game playing it in live mode. And if you actually wanted to see gameplay, this was probably the best stream to be watching. They also showed off sharing content inside of the gallery and traveling around inside of the game in map mode and how that will work through the different loading screens. One of the things I noticed here, the loading screens appear to take a little bit longer than they did when they were promoing the game in the first place. Maybe it's just me noticing this, but let's hope it doesn't foreshadow the future in which loading screens last a little bit longer than we all would like. But on today three, where Sim Guru Matt and Sim Guru Sharon actually showed off more of the live mode. They also showed off a bunch of different community lots inside of the game, and for the first time, we actually got to see the Goth family being played. Not only that, but they also tried to woohoo inside of the game for the very first time, and well, as you can see here, they succeeded. So congrats to Sim Guru Matt and Sim Guru Shannon. You two are the very first people to live stream Sims inside of The Sims 4 woohooing together. Claps all around. Claps for you people. So if you're watching this and you plan to be the very first person to do that, yeah, sorry, the Sim Gurus already beat you to it. Now, of course, there's a ton of other information inside of all of these different live streams. You can catch up with all of them over on the Sims live stream channel on Twitch at twitch.tv slash the Sims. But with all this brand new information inside of the game, it kind of made me wonder, does this actually sway your opinion of the game? Like, will you be buying the game and playing it as soon as it's launched in your country? Or do you plan on waiting a little bit longer to see what it's like, or are you just staying away from the game altogether? You can let me know in the comment section down below. You can also let me know on my Facebook page or through my Twitter account. There are links to those in the description down below. And if you happen to have any questions about the show or anything that has to do with The Sims, or you would like to submit your very own content for the community spotlight, you can just tweet me using the hashtag the simulation. I'll be featuring some of your comments on next week's episode. But until then, everyone, I'm Curtis Parody. Happy simming! Thank <music> you.